Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I'm taking a deeper dive into the tennis support center. I just realized that a lot of the stuff that looks brand, brand new are used or slightly used. Stay tuned. Almost time to go. All right, as easy as that, I get my morning cup of hot joe in the hotel room, freshly brewed by me. Coffee sponsor of today is Justin Erickson. My buddy Justin always hooks me up. Justin writes, happy holidays, always enjoy the videos. Thank you, my man, Justin. Hopefully you had a great holidays and look forward to seeing you in the new year. Here's to you. If you want to be a member of my coffee club or hook me up with the morning brew, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you all so, so much for making all this possible and for me uh, presenting you with the content that I love and adore. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Hmm. Perfect, see, with that, with this thing, you can put as much water as you liked. What I figured out was two of those would be perfect like too full and it goes down so it's about half a cup in there it makes it perfectly strong enough for for my taste so i'll tell you a quick quick story though when i first started coming here to tokyo and japan i stayed at not this hotel but a different one but i stayed here the second time and it was a nice hotel and when I walked up to the coffee thing, um, the little the stand like this, it was all instant coffee. It was like Folgers and decaf Folgers. And I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> so I literally went out, went out to look for coffee and I finally found a Starbucks. There weren't many around back then, but I hit that Starbucks up pretty much every day. The coffee is just a little weaker here, though. Um, the more I came, the better the coffee got. So finally, they appreciated the stronger coffee, the better coffee. And, you know, now, you know, they appreciate coffee, I think. So, right? So when you come out here, the coffee is good now. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's start the video. Yeah, so the one thing I was wondering was a lot of this stuff was really reasonably priced and I kept looking at it again and again. Um, apparently, they sell used old stock. You can get 6195s, you can get old Yonixes, you can get old Princes, you can get old anything you want and they look almost brand new. They even clean up the grips and shrink wrap the grips for you. So it looks like brand new. And I'm like, the price has got to be wrong. And then, so the more I looked at it, the more I realized that they are actually old stock used form, but great prices. So let's take a deeper dive into uh, 
some of these rackets and what they got. All right, so I understand why they call this the uh, Tennis Support Center now. So it's going to support you addicts out there. Because check this out. We got a Davis Classic here. We got another Davis Classic here. Davis Imperial here. Lady Elite here. I mean, that's just wood. I mean, check this out. A brand spanking new Don A. Like, never been strung, he told me. Never been strung. Oh, what the heck? This was like my racket. My first racket was this one. I didn't know what I was buying. I was six years old. I bought the Chris Everett special. <laughs> I just wanted to play. <laughs> Borg Pro. Bancroft. Autographed. Billy Jean King. And we got a max ply right there. Those are, you can still get the max plies pretty easily at the at the local Goodwill, but I just wanted to show you guys the collection they got here. It's, it's pretty great actually for all you guys. And then we actually have a Kenex over here. I want to call it Black Ace. Am I right? No, it's Micro Ace. I never even heard of this one. T300. Pretty clean. So, what brand is this with the K on there? Oh, it's Kawasaki. I remember that. Grand Slam Kawasaki. Four and a half grip. Oh, Fudabaya. You guys remember that brand? Fudabaya? This was actually an American brand that uh, took over um, a lot of the racket lines for a while. This was like hot for like two, three years when my man Johnny Rushworth repped the company. That's crazy. More food to buy you. I should bring this back for Johnny. I wonder if he would appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, I remember Lecoq Sportif. Oh, no way. Prince Woody. Coach Rob and I tried this one. Got to gently put them back because they put the plastic things on the top. Guys, check this out. Puma racket, the Boris Becker winner. What is this? I don't know what this is. Spin SP in. Biscus. Huh. I don't, I'm not familiar with this one. Patented two tension racket. Pro one, guys. Don A Pro one. Super mid sized Pro one model. Uh oh. No. Boris Becker? Oh no, it's a Stusa. Boris Becker Stusa. That looks like an oversized though. Put these back. Man, it's like Alcoholics Anonymous over here, dude. You guys will get a kick out of all this 
old stock there. I've never seen this before. It's a profile with SPS. They're asking that price for it. Oh, you guys know this one. You can still get these. That's the Sting. Oh, check it out. Profile, 95. Remember how thick that was? You can still get one in great shape. And to round it off, guys, that is Kamiko Date's racket. It's 360, 350 grams. Um, I'm not sure what that says. Um, at least that's what he told me. But it's a limited edition version of uh, her racket. And you know how Kamiko Date was representing Yonex and just and Japan forever as their top women's player for years. So, addicts, come to Japan. If you want any of these, they're waiting for you and the price is right. All right, so you're, if you're looking for an old favorite, this is your store. Because they do have a lot of old stock here in new and used form. Like you can get like a 6195 and that's a great price. I know it's used, look, but they've cleaned it up. And you know the Japanese take care of their items. They don't go smashing things too, too often. Um, check out this racket that's an older 95S. That's a great price. And these are really clean. These are actually pretty clean. They clean them up really well. And like I said, this is good condition. We're talking like 50 bucks here, if that. So maybe less than 50 bucks right there. Oh, burn 95, burn 95. That was actually a pretty rare racket back then. Nobody really bought it or knew of it. Junior? Is that a junior? J? Maybe five, yeah. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, long. It's longer. Oh. I'm not sure what the J means, but that's cool. Yeah, there's like, look at, look at all around me. No wonder they call it the support center. All right, guys, so if you're in Shibuya, Japan, uh, we're really near the scramble. Like we're, <laughs> but you got to find it. It's really, it's, it's up and down and up and down. And literally, I feel like I'm in a, um, a place where I need therapy. And I guess I need therapy for tennis. For all you people who are looking for older rackets, this is definitely the place you're going to find it because they got three locations. If it's not here, you're going to be able to find it at one of the other ones. Maybe just ask them. Okay. It's called the Tennis Support Center for all you addicts out there. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis in Shibuya. Japan. Sky, great playing today, man. Thanks. Good hitting. Oh, thank you. My arm doesn't feel right. Uh oh. Interesting. I got something. Hang on, hang on. See? I don't feel a thing. My arm doesn't feel a thing. It feels great. See? I told you. All right, Harry, one more shot. I'm gonna go real big.
great. Yeah. <laughs>